Hi, this is DTS, Digital Combat Simulator, and this is the F-16C Viper. Feel free to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content. So let's get started. I'm going to do a cold and dark start. To close the canopy, hold down left control and C. Don't just tap it, keep both buttons held down. Canopy will slowly become closed, and then you can let go of the buttons by pushing F1 on the keyboard, but you can jump into the cockpit. I'm going to look down here on the right hand side first thing. There's four buttons here I'm going to click. So one, two, three, and four. INS, I'm going to put the INS align onto norm by right clicking on that. Up here are a number of switches. I'm going to turn around this one for consoles. INS T P N L. INS T P N L for flood and consoles around as well. Now that's done, that's excellent. I'm going to go over and have a look at the left hand side. Over here we've got the throttle. To unlock it we're going to hold down right shift and home. You'll notice it will move forward. Now just underneath that is an intercom switch. You want to turn this way down. So this intercom, hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse downwards or just hover your mouse wheel over it and rotate the mouse wheel so this is all the way down. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and have a look at the cockpit lock. So I'm just going to left click that once and that's locked. Up in the center, I'm going to look at these four. So we're just going to be rotating them to the top. So one next to SYM, rotating that one away to the top. You can do this by holding down the left mouse button and moving the mouse up. Or you can get the mouse wheel and just hover the mouse wheel over it and move it upwards. So we're just rotating these four. Okay, now that's done. Just make sure that your throttle is in the idle position and backwards. I'm going to go back to here, main power, right click this twice. Over here, jet fuel, we're going to left click on this one. So it'll be on start two, and then this one will be here. Now you should start to see the plane will become alive. Let's check the plane from the outside. Now W is for brakes and N is for nose wheel steering. You may have it set to S for nose wheel steering. I'll show you where it is just under the controls. If you look under search, you just put in N W S and you can see here N W S. I've got it currently set to S on the keyboard. You may have it set to something else. That's pretty much it. That's a cold and dark start. We'll just show that we can do a takeoff. Um, highly recommend this plane. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. This video was made on release day just a few hours after the plane was released. So we have much more to learn. I'm looking forward to doing more on this plane. So let's see if we can get in the air. We're just going to put the throttle up a little bit. You'll find this plane is very, very lively. Um, doesn't require much throttle to get moving. Bun bubble canopy is absolutely amazing. Um, if you have VR, I imagine this plane is going to be um, just absolutely superb. We'll just rotate out towards the runway and we'll take off. Tap W on the brakes just for braking. As needed. Now at this stage, just be aware that the middle pylon does not seem to be functional. You cannot put anything on the middle pylon. So I just thought I'd mention that as well. Let's put the plane to a stop here. We'll show you. At the moment, on five, there's no options. You can put the lightning pod here, and then on the other side you can't put anything. It's the same for the rest, so we've got bombs, fuel tank, 
rockets. Then on the spot 7, we can put the AIM-120C and B on the plane. AIM-9X. Bombs. Pod. Rockets. On 8, we've got some options for 9X, 120C, 120B, 9L, 9M. Pod. And again on 9. Pod. There's no livery options at this point in time. And that's selecting the country USA. So let's get in the air. Now you'll know if you have nose wheel steering on and off, if it's over here. So if you push S, you'll see it says that. Push S again and it's gone. I'm going to take it off for takeoff. It's going to hold down W for a few seconds. Put the throttle up a little bit. Let go of W, put the throttle the rest of the way. Watch our plane move. back. I didn't really help it then to get much speed up or anything, but um, just managed to climb quite easily. And we're able to level it out really easily as well. It's back in control. I hope that helps, and thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe and like the video. Have a great day.